everyone. I'm excited to share this super fun card with you using the Signature Cocktails Stamp and Stencil Combo. So the products that I'm using are that Stamp and Stencil Combo. There's three stencils in this. Then there's the Big Cheers Cling and Clear Combo along with the coordinating die. I'm using Foam Sticky Strips, Mint Julep, Spearmint, Peaches and Cream, Pink Champagne and Oreo Ink, Bits and Pieces Gold Drip Drops, Blender Brushes, Oreo and Sugar Cube Cardstock. So I'm gonna start with a piece of A2 size sugar cube cardstock in my Misty with the foam insert removed. I am using the Signature Cocktails stamp set, or stamp, excuse me, this is a background stamp. And I'm using two colors of ink. I'm gonna use mint julep and spearmint for my background. Now I have the mini ink cubes, but if you had a, the, the full size ink, this would go a little bit faster, but this still works perfectly. So I'm gonna ink half of it with the mint julep and the other half with spearmint. I believe this is spearmint here on the top. And I need to do this a few times because I wanna get a good, nice blend between the two colors. So when you're inking this way, you will have to do it at least two times, maybe more. And I'm gonna press that down and then I can see where I didn't press in the middle, but I'm gonna ink this up again and do this one more time. My little grid paper was moving on me, but I'm gonna ink this up again. I am using the mint julep at the bottom, and then I'm gonna bring in that spearmint at the top. But I love these two green colors together. I think they're so, so pretty. And then we can peel this back. I do it one more time. And then we have this really nice, good background. Now I'm starting with my first stencil. They are numbered one through three. This is giving us our little, our little cocktails here. I decided to use peaches and cream and pink champagne because there's two stencils that are for the drinks. So I'm gonna have two different colors of drinks here. And I'm gonna ink blend those darker at the bottom, lighter towards the top. And then we can peel this back and bring in stencil number two. And this is going to be for the second half of our, our uh, cocktails here. So the first color that I used was peaches and cream and this will be the pink champagne here. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, ink blending. I'm using the Bitty Blender brushes because obviously they're smaller. I feel like I have more control when I want to add darker areas and have lighter areas. So that's why I like to use the Bitty Blender brushes, especially for a stencil like this. I did end up forgetting two drinks with each one of the stencils. I didn't realize it till until I peeled uh, up this stencil and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so I'm gonna add those back and do those two really quick. Then the third stencil adds some little like it almost looks like little diamond shapes, but it's like bubbly detail inside of the drinks. And it's one stencil, but I'm still gonna use the two separate colors for it. So let me finish here with this last stencil. I needed to get it lined up correctly. Okay, let's bring in that third stencil. And, and you guys can see there has that little tiny detail. I'm gonna tape this in place, and then I'm just going to go tone on tone using the pink champagne on the pink champagne and then the peaches and cream on the peaches and cream. This is such a cute little detail. I love it. It just, I just think these little cocktails are so much fun. So let's finish up with that peaches and cream and then we can move on to the next thing. We're gonna be using the Big Cheers Cling and Clear combo. So you have, and then there's the coordinating die to die cut it out. So you have this big sentiment here and I'm gonna do a similar thing like I did with that background stamp, but I'm gonna be using the Peaches and Cream and Pink Champagne. And I am adding the color, one color to the top and one to the bottom. I'm gonna stamp that down. It needs to be done one more time and then we'll have a really nice good blend. So the top is the pink champagne and then the bottom is the peaches and cream. And then I wanna use the coordinating die to die cut this out. So I'm gonna tape that in place with some low tack tape and I can run this through my die cut machine. Now I decided to add a shadow behind it and I also wanted to give it some more dimension. We're gonna give this sentiment quite a bit of dimension. So I'm gonna die cut the word cheers from just using the die 
with Oreo cardstock and I'm gonna do that three times. That's gonna give the shadow a lot of dimension and yeah, it's a really good look. I, I like how this looks. I like just offsetting it a little bit is gonna give us a nice definition from our stamped background and this sentiment. So I'm using some liquid glue and reverse tweezers to adhere those cheers with the Oreo cardstock together. And then I will add a little bit of liquid glue behind the stamped cheers. But I remember I want to offset this. I wanna see some of that black behind it. This is gonna give us a nice shadow. So that's how I'm going to adhere that there. And then I wanna stamp the sentiment that says to you. This is part of that Big Cheers clean and clear combo. This is the clear part. On some sugar cube cardstock with Oreo ink. And then I'm just gonna trim that out with my paper trimmer. I also trimmed out a Oreo mat to go behind. And then I will adhere this to a white A2 size card base. I want to add some dim dimension, more dimension behind my sentiments. So I'm using foam sticky strips and I like to trim out the excess to use on for just the extra pieces, not just the circles, because that's a lot of foam adhesive and I don't want that to go to waste. I'm going to put that in place and then I just want to finish off adding some bits and pieces gold drip drops all over the background and then we can take a look at this and look at how fun this is. I just think the colors are so cheerful and this is just a fun card altogether. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.